My name is Chen Lei Guo. I'm a professor uh, with the Institute of Optics at University of Rochester. So my lab, we are using femtosecond lasers as a tool and study laser matter interactions. So I have a couple of research directions uh, pursued uh, in my laboratory. One is very fundamental actually. Uh, we, we use very high intense laser pulses to study atoms molecules and study the response of uh, atoms molecule in very strong fields and we're looking at electron ionization, molecule dissociation, those fundamental processes. And on the other side, we also have more applied research in that direction. So our research really focus on uh, use a high intense femtosecond laser pulses to uh, process the material surface, try to functionalize the surface. And I'm going to give you a few examples. The first one is um, we develop a technique we use a uh, laser pulse process a metal surface. Eventually, uh, we produce extensive amount of micro nano surface structures. Those structures are tiny, and even you run your finger across the surface, it still feels smooth, but underneath high power microscope, you see them uh, extensive amount of micro nano structures. So these structures are very interesting. They essentially change the uh, property of the material. And uh, the first thing we did a number of years ago was uh, we dramatically changed the optical properties. So we turn a shiny piece of metal pitch black, which means it's totally become absorptive. Okay? And so light shine upon the metal will not be able to reflect back, so it appears to be black. And so really pitch black. And then after that, we move on technology one step further we also create something so-called color metal. So the first one we called it black metal, and the second step we made this color metal. The difference is uh, for black metal, um, the surface eventually will indistinguishably absorb all color of lights. But in color metal, it was selectively absorb certain lights, color light, but reflect um, some other colors. So those colors reflect um, into your eyes appear, give you the appearance blue, goldenish, or reddish, different colors. So, um, so we uh, dramatically just change the optical property, absorption properties. We know this uh, light is actually, for most people, is intangible. You cannot grab it. <laughs> it's out of the thin air. And the next question we ask is, if we can um, do so much about light, what about something more tangible? Okay, what about water? And then, so that we, uh, we moved our research forward, and the next thing we did was we tried to process the material surface and dramatically change it wetting property. And in terms of wetting property, a surface can either attract water or repel water. Um, basically, that's either hydrophilic or hydrophobic. The first thing we did was we tried to uh, uh, change the, the wetting property and make a surface super hydrophilic and also super weakened. We did this on a range of different materials, including metals, semiconductors, uh, glass, and even human teeth. And so we did this, and although we, we, you know, we made it super hydrophilic, but we were still surprised afterwards how strong, uh, how strong a degree this super hydrophilic is. We create this super hydrophilic surface. If we put place a drop of water at the bottom of the surface, the wa the surface attract water to such in you know, such a strong degree, the liquid actually just shoots up vertically against gravity and make it super water grabbing. After the hydrophilic, uh, super hydrophilic research, and actually naturally, uh, the next thing we were looking at is, what about the counterpart technology? Make the surface repel water, so-called hydrophobic. And so um, we work we work towards the creating this super hydrophobic surface, and eventually we got it working. And the, you know, once again, the surface, we turn the metal surface super hydrophobic. And if we drop the water, 
and the water actually will bounce off the surface just like a ping pong ball of a concrete floor. We have been working with the Gates Foundation to try to apply this technology for sanitation applications and the goal is uh, eventually we can reach out to the third world country and developing country and help them uh, for sanitation. Today there, there are um, uh, each year about 700 um, thousands uh, children will die of malaria because of poor sanitation because they don't have a lot of clean water to clean them um, all this uh, um, their their environment so uh, if we apply this technology to the developing country improve the sanitation so we know um, if the surface repels water, it will also repel water containing waste. It will also repel bacteria, micro, microbial, and that's the idea. We wanted to make this to the world um, for a greater benefit. Um, I'm excited to, uh, to move our research forward and, and contribute my part to hopefully to build a better world for tomorrow.